Hi, I am here to urge you to vote. We are working with our partner at Citizens for Juvenile Justice, uh, Leon Smith, and uh, you'll be hearing from him later. I'm going to give him a virtual fist bump right now. Hey, Leon. Um, the reason it's so important to vote is because if we want true change when it comes to racial justice, justice for LGBTQ individuals, um, for immigrants, and for, for many, many others. The only way we're going to get that is if we elect uh, individuals who reflect our values, reflect the things that we care about, and then once they're elected, uh, it's our job to get after them and make sure they actually pass the legislation or in policies that are going to make a difference in our everyday lives. So for the sake of our collective community and for the sake of sustainable progress, voting, while it may sometimes seem like it doesn't matter, um, really does matter. And we need you and your friends and your family across the entire country to get out and vote and make a difference. So uh, don't let cynicism win. Don't let them discourage you from uh, sharing your voice in a way that matters through the ballot. Uh, we win uh, by acting together, and that's what this is really all about. So, thank you. My name is Leon Smith, and I am the Executive Director of Citizens for Juvenile Justice. And I'm asking you to please exercise your right to vote. The late, great John Lewis once said, the right to vote is precious. It is the most sacred, powerful, nonviolent tool we have in a democratic society, and we have to use it. As we navigate an ongoing deadly pandemic and widespread inequality throughout our society, it is more important than ever that we exercise that right to vote, a right that our forefathers fought and in some cases died for, to ensure that we have decision makers in place in our government who act in the best interest of all Americans. So please, this upcoming November 3rd, take the time, exercise your right to vote, and make sure your voice is heard.